But wide receiver, linebacker, in my opinion, it wouldn't hurt them to go at defensive end either because really, truly, and honestly, the defensive end position needs help. Cam Jordan's coming off an injury. Davenport was two years back-to-back -back injured. You have no considerable quality pass rushers that you can count on that's coming behind them. Noah Spence, question mark. Carl Grandison, question mark. Trey Hendrickson, question mark. All those guys are question marks. And you talking about making a Super Bowl run, you better bring your pass rush with you. We could talk about all these skillful positions all we want, but unless the Saints can bring an adequate, more than adequate, I would say more than adequate pass rush, we need to make some stuff happen here. And we don't have nothing but question marks behind Davenport, who's a big question mark on to himself. But really, in my opinion, defensive end is where it's at. You got, they got three really good defensive ends. We're not gonna get Chase Young. You're not going, you might not end up with Clavon uh, chasing. You might not get him. He'd probably be gone. But there are two guys that might fall into your lap. You could get the guy from Penn State. Uh, he might fall to you. And you could get the guy from Iowa who could fall to you. So if you get an opportunity to get pass rushers that you can bring in and help you, if you don't address the situation in free agency, then, you know, my thing is you got to have somebody to get after the quarterback. Look what happened to us in the Minnesota Viking game. Saints didn't have no pass rush. You know, we could talk about them. They do an excellent job in stopping the run, but shit, they don't have no pass rushers. No pass rushers. I, Cam, let me say it again. For people who, do, who might not be thinking about it like that, last year, remember, you lost Davenport a month before the playoffs start. Where was the pass rush from that side? Non-existent. Where was the pass rush in the playoff game against Minnesota? Cam revealed that he was hurt. The last four games of the season, which is right around the time Davenport went out with his injury, Cam was hurt and played hurt for four games, including the playoffs. And remember, he wasn't that impactful. So what happens? There was no pass rush presented behind those two guys. So pass rush, to me, my opinion, is the position that we still need to go after. And I've been saying Griffin, Everson Griffin will finish. Marcus Golden is another guy that will help. Even Clay Matthews will help. But we need to address the pass rush position in some form or fashion. Hopefully it's early in the draft where you got talent sitting there. And some guys will say, well, Q, hold on. If you draft another first round draft pick to push Davenport, then that they'll be like the Saints lost first round picks. You think people give a rat's ass about first round picks? Look what the 49ers did. The 49ers basically stockpiled defensive linemen. They stockpiled them. Stockpiled them. Draft year after year. Bosa. Uh, uh, what's his name? Big big Eric Robinson or whatever his face is. Armstead, I mean. Eric Armstead. Bosa. Uh, what's the other guy name? It's year after year. First rounder. First rounder. First rounder. Defensive man, pass rushers, one after the other. You know, I don't care about them looking good or, or looking bad because they took Davenport and he been hurt. The, the reality is you're not getting any value from the pick because the man hurt. He's hurt. So you got to get, get the talent that is there. Stop playing around with potential guys. No disrespect to Noah Spence. No disrespect to Trey Hendrickson. No disrespect to Carl Grandison. But these guys aren't getting it done. When we dealing with the pass rush situation, just to bring it back to the set, the pass for, uh, rush situation. By the mere fact that no pass rush, don't it's not going to end well for you. Look what happened in the Minnesota game. You let Kirk Cousins sit back there and you give any quarterback time, they're going to cut you up. They're going to cut you up and that's what they did to the Saints defense. They cut them up. The pass rush is something that, that shortens the length of the clock. If you have a pass rush that's fierce, they get to the quarterback, they put hell on you, they cause fumbles, strip sacks, stuff like that. They shorten the game and they impact it from a energy standpoint. It electrifies the team when defenses are getting to the quarterback, strip sacks, fumbles, batting the ball down. That creates a momentum plays, momentum shift, energy moments in the game where the Saints could dominate and take over. If you can keep their team, that's the best thing you can do. Before signing the best cornerback in the NFL is go out and get some pass rushers and let them have at it. Let them have at it. Load your team up with pass rushers and send them at the opposing quarterback. Send them at Tom Brady. Send them at Ted Teddy Bridgewater. Send them at uh, uh, Matt Ryan. All those quarterbacks don't move that well. <laughs> we got the deep we got the NFC South where the quarterbacks don't move too well. Our quarterback run like his, his feet stuck in the sand. Tom Brady can't move at all. He just slides. He's a statue back there. 
Teddy Bridgewater is probably the most mobile quarterback in the NFC South, and he doesn't move all that well either. So, I mean, and then you look at Matt Ryan, who looks like he's running in slow motion. So, very, a bunch of immobile, immobile quarterbacks are in the NFC South. A good pass rush could, could make wonders happen. Now, we know Teddy Bridgewater. We know since we, he knows the Saints, but we know him too. We know that he has the propensity to hold the ball, don't we? So if we can put a pass rush on him, Teddy will hold that ball. He'll pull that ball out, excuse me. And then we can make something happen. So there we go. Perfect.